Many of you may not realize, but uh, a while ago I discovered that I had a tumor in my leg, a uh, very large tumor, actually. It's about five and a half centimeters, which I don't remember what that is in inches, but it's pretty big. And that was uh, very scary. It's inside my bone. And the doctor said, well, if it grows, you could be in some pretty big trouble because it can burst through your bone and cause a lot of issues. It can essentially cripple your leg. You can have a very invasive surgery and that can also cause problems. And if it breaks through your leg, it could be cancer, etc. And unfortunately, this type of tumor is very difficult for doctors to tell with CT and uh, x-rays if it's actually cancerous or if it's benign. And also because it's inside the bone, it's not usually worth it to remove it if it's benign. And they also told me that if they were to do a biopsy, which many, many people have suggested, obviously, the problem with, I guess, this kind of tumor is if you do a biopsy and it tells you that it's benign, that may not be accurate because other parts of it apparently can be malignant. So the whole thing's very complicated. Long story short, they said, okay, come back after three months to check to see if it's grown. I waited three horrible months. I showed up like two weeks early and tried to check it early and they said, no, this was back in Beijing. So then I finally showed up on the three month and they said it hadn't grown and I did a video about that. And then they said, you gotta wait another six months to check it which is less panic inducing, but it still is very nerve wracking to just sit around and wait and hope that in the meantime, my bone isn't gonna fracture while I'm walking and cause me real pain and real trouble. So the other day I went to a hospital here in Shanghai and got another check and the doctors told me that it has not grown, which is amazing because that means it's been about nine or 10 months because it took a while to get the first check. It's sort of a complicated story, but it's been about nine or 10 months and nobody's seen it grow, which is really good news. That's amazing news. That means basically it went from being about, I'd say 20% chance of being cancer when they first discovered it, mostly such a high chance because it was so large. It went from about 20% chance to now it's like 1% chance or even less. They're, they're really pretty sure that it's just a enchondroma, which is benign tumor. And as long as it doesn't grow, they say they don't have to remove it. So this is really, really good news for me obviously. I haven't been in a great mood for the last few months. Obviously, this is, you know, just a stressful thing. I know you guys have all ha had health issues and you know what I'm talking about. It really can be depressing and uh, really make you feel lonely. And so I just wanted to thank you guys for supporting me during this time. Obviously, there's people out there with real issues that, that really need help, but that doesn't stop me from voicing the way that I felt which was pretty nervous and pretty panicked and pretty scared and, and very lonely. So you guys sending me your comments was very helpful. I didn't respond to most of them. Obviously, I get a lot, but I did read a whole ton of comments. And I thank you guys for that. It's really been helpful for me to know that, you know, you guys don't necessarily know me on a personal level, but hey, you care that I'm alive and that's you know, that's something that actually means something. And I want to kind of share with you another type of comment that I get from people. So this is, I, I get a lot of these types of comments. I'm sure you can imagine. I find them entertaining, I'd say. This is an email that I received. This is somebody who apparently thinks that Taiwan's a country against all evidence. It simply says, why bother to tell the world you are stupid? Your definition of a country is wrong. Not my definition. I'm just looking up the international, you know, legal standards for how a country is defined. But okay, I guess those facts are wrong. Taiwan is getting to fight China to settle the question. Your cancer that you got from living in China will kill you soon. This is from Colin Chen, 2017 at Gmail. So Colin, thank you very much for your email. I really appreciate you reaching out to me and asserting that I will die and that my cancer is from living in China. But it turns out I thought I may have cancer, but according to your logic, from living in China, it's now benign. So thank you, China, for healing me. I appreciate it. And thanks for uh, bringing that to my attention there, Colin. It's very nice of you. So this is just one example, the type of uh, email that, that people will send me. Very, very kind of them to go out of their way to say that kind of stuff. That's my health update. Some of the doctors in Beijing said I have to check once per year after this if it, if it turned out to be not growing. Uh, the doctors that I talked to the other day said you should check 
no less than once per year, meaning actually it should be more like uh, once or twice per year. So I'm gonna probably check in another six months just to be sure, and if it's still not growing, then maybe I'll, I'll try to cut it down to once a year. And you guys won't have to hear me yapping about my leg, which would be very nice for you guys. I'm sure, you know, even though I have very muscular, very attractive legs, uh, you know, I'm sure not everybody wants to hear about that every three seconds. So it appears that I'm healthy. It appears that I have enchondroma. The doctors are reasonably sure about that. And um, that's really, really good. Thank you. Thank dog.